Spider Web, and in this video, we're going to be carrying on painting our Spartans through the little traps. This is what we've got so far with them. Um, all the base coating near enough is done. There's just a few bits and pieces that we need to actually paint. The rest of it is quite frankly highlighting. So let's get on with it, shall we? First step on with the little head loopy thingy and crack on. So what do we have? Well we have all this flesh here that needs highlighting. Uh, the flesh we did with rat skin flesh. Um, it's still flesh coloured so it's not sort of like anything uh, derogatory with uh, picking that particular one. <laughs> so going back to rat skin flesh which is that colour we'll pop some on our canvas canvas palette rather as you can see I've got a fresh palette because the um, the paint I didn't have much paint left on the old on it beforehand and with leaving it standing for a while um, it's basically not done too well so <laughs> I was better off um, cleaning it as best as I could you don't it doesn't have to be spotless as long as it's clean for free of the old paint into that we're going to be mixing Screaming Skull. Okay, so we'll add a bit of that to make it a bit paler. We don't want it too pale at the moment. We just want a nice mid highlight tone. We'll be adding a little more of that um, later on um, for an extreme highlight. So let's just clean that brush off, get our brush that we're using. Once again, I'm going to do uh, the painting on one miniature and then when we come uh, for the other two, I'll just do a transition, skip through that completely and then come back to the first miniature once it's dried. Okay, so let's get some brush and our paint, as it were. I'll paint an eyebrush, one or the other, not sure which. <laughs> and anywhere, as you can see, where there needs to be a little bit of brightness going on. I just need to use a little bit more off the brush. I'm not sure, maybe a little too bright at the moment. So I think what we'll do is add a touch more of the rat skin flesh into that mix. There's a little too high, um, not too much of a, a jump between both colours. I don't want it too, as I say, I don't want it too different. By the Lord, Harry. Oh yeah, that might be better. And we'll give that one a try. So, as I said, we're just making it um, a slight difference in Anywhere where there's a little ridge, a little highlight part, it just needs a little bit of a touch up, and that way it shows where the light is hitting and gives it that more fruit 3D um, effect. And once we've done this bit, then we'll come back a little bit later and add a further 
highlighted area to it which won't be too too much of a difference again but it will look paler there we go what was that? anywhere where you think that light is going to hit I've done that little bit on the leg because it just makes it stand out that little bit more and that's another thing you need to look for making it stand out because at the moment as it was it didn't look as though it was standing out I don't really need to do the but yes we need to touch up arms I like the muscles basically there we go now hopefully you can see the difference between the one I've done and the one I haven't done fingers crossed <laughs> right I'll get these done and when we come back we'll carry on with the first one okay so now we're near the end of this particular fella um, just make sure I've got everywhere that I need to yeah looks like it there we go we'll come back to the first chap now what we need to do is we're looking at the cape I think yes the cape so for that we're going to be using um, one of the colors that we mixed into the brown to give it that uh, reddish brown color which is corn red so I'll pop some of this on the palette I'll probably need quite a bit of this because there's three capes to be done and you know there's quite a lot of space on these capes so we'll do that and I'll get a slightly bigger brush once again give it a bit of a rinse get it on the paint get off sorry get the brush in the paint and then we can make a start on covering this so what we're going to do is just sweep down and Anywhere where it's raised, we'll add this red colour. We will be coming back and touching up with. Um, Taylor red as time goes on and getting more detailing by using a much thinner brush but for the time being we're just going to concentrate on the broad areas and we're just going to give it the, the look of the red here we want it to basically just sink into the dirt brown that we've got already on the on the mini and there we go. And that's all we're doing really um, I'm just going to say I'm just going to make 
I'm just going to do the uh, broad areas at the moment because that's the size of brush I've got but I will be coming back with this to do the finer detailed areas So it just gives it that hint of red in there. Now, I'll wash this brush out and go back with the finer detail brush. And for this, I'll go across these areas. right brush for the job you know, if your brush is too thick for doing the, or too big for doing the final details then it's not the right job no it's not the right brush for the job what we're looking at is using the edge of this brush not the point and we're running over the detailed areas or the creases the fine creases here at the top just like so the Be areas here where you can't really get to properly, but try your best. There we are. We'll be coming back with a more of this corn red to build up the colour that we have. And that's what we're doing for this part of the mini. Um, now, there are some areas that haven't been covered properly with the base colour. So I'm just going to go over those with this red. just for the sake of making sure it's all covered there we are. so that's what we're going to be doing for this mini so I'll carry on with the other two and come back to you as soon as they're done okay so that is about it for this particular step of the painting and um, <clears throat> the you can hopefully see there is that nice reddish cast now to the cape which is what is wanted let's just have a look at here now yep that is looking exactly how I'd like it so we'll give that a chance to ease up a bit and then we'll go on to something completely different and for this completely different bit we're going to be doing a little bit of dry brushing and we're using Stormhost Silver now this step is one that I tried at the end of last video it didn't quite work for me 
um, there wasn't much difference between the base coat and the highlight so I didn't bother going any further with it really so I'm just going to use this Stormhost Silver bit of a dry brush and where I'm going to dry brush is along the shield I want it to stand out just that little bit Um, I'm not going to be doing any transitions or anything for this part because there's not much point, it's only a small area that I'm doing. I'm not doing everything in the, all the metal areas in this. Um, it's just the shield. Also I want it to stand out quite a bit, which it will do now. In fact, so I'm not doing everywhere. I'll do the sword tip as well. Oh yeah. Make sure I get the sword done. Um, I think I missed top of this one I did okay it doesn't have to be <coughs> completely covered I'll do this part first on this one so I don't forget and I say it's just a case of a quick stroke downwards that will do okay now the reason I wanted the uh, shield silver is because I've seen um, pictures people have done of ooh, the shield and I quite like the colour um, so I'm going to go with it and I'm going, going, to, going to go back into the corn red for this and this inverted V I'm going to paint red. Now for me, being a, a St. Owens lad, and the usual strip for St. Owens rugby league team is a red V on a white background. Um, this is kind of familiar <laughs> um, I'm not a rugby league fan at all I don't follow sports whatsoever but that's a red V on a white background in this case an inverted red V on a silver background but I know it's nothing to do with Wigan uh, Wigan it's nothing to do with St. Alan's rugby league but You know, it is, as I say, a familiar image. And basically that is it really for the shield. Um, uh, we're going to come back and just add a touch of a brighter red onto this to make it stand out a bit more but I'm not going to do much else to the shield um, I've got a feeling when we play these I don't think Ali will be wanting to play with the Spartans because she's a, a Wigan lass and she might think I'm having a pop but I'm not <laughs> I just like that corn skin. Right, there we are. So, we do however now need to think more about the um, rest of the metal areas. And then come back and highlight a bit more on the flesh tone. And then highlight these um, areas here. 
So, first off, I think we're going to have a different red for this part. The red I'm picking is Wasdaka. So, we'll get some of that on our pallets. We don't need a vast amount. Um, but it's a, a different red. Thing that we have. Um, I think in that I may actually pop a little bit of Bugman's Glow just to change the colour. Because I'm like that. <laughs> Well, let's get some of that in as well. I don't particularly want it a bright colour. There we are. We've got some different shades of red in there. So let's get it on the mini. As I said, these ones, the view you're going to be using here is just down this, whatever it may be called. I'm not going to go too mad with it, it's just a few spots here and there um, and then we're going to have um, we'll do what we did with the hot plates and come back and add a few spots of the metallic colour onto these little studded areas Oh yeah, that should do. So that's what I'm going to do with the rest of them. There we go. So that's that part done. Um, now let's add a little bit of Avalanche Sunset um, to our palette. Just a, a little bit, not too much. Anyway, what's that for you ask? Well, I'll tell you. We're going to mix a little bit of that, well, what am I doing? Mix a little bit of that in with the highlighted flesh tone. A spot of the red. This is the corn red that we used earlier. There we and this is going to be the leather highlight for the leather areas. doing this don't forget the sandals down at the bottom here um, will do the job just nicely and a little bit on here there we are that will do um, 
Now, the next part is the rest of the metallic areas, including all the stubs and everything on the leather parts. So, what we're going to do with that is, where are you? We're going to use Ashok Copper. We're going to get a little bit of the pallet, like so. And we're going to mix in some Stormhost Silver. Just to brighten it up a little bit. Too bad. I think I might have <laughs> lightened it up a bit too much. So let's get a little bit more of that in there. That will do. Okay, so I'm going to wipe quite a bit off and then. Just apply some to the metal areas. I'm using this brush just for the only for the fact that I've actually got the paint on this brush. And I'll do the back of the shield. In fact, what I'm going to do is go round the edge of the shield with this colour to make it stand out just a little bit more. I'm not forgetting that part. I'm not happy with that brush. I'm going to use a small one because I feel as though I'm struggling. So, I'll get this brush on the go. Yeah, so I'm on the on the brush, wipe a little off, and then it's just a little bit of a dry brush here and there. Picking out details of where you want this to hit. The you don't really need to get it um, in shadowed areas, obviously. Um, Again, we'll get some around here just to make it stand up just a little bit more. Give it that. You're not going to see it all that well unless you look carefully, but I'll just add that little. Oops. That's it, and that's the one that's not been done yet. So I'll just go around the shield with that one. I've got some fresh paint on the brush. And touch up. metal areas here and here and now the the helmet oh yeah 
and now it's just a case of going on with a thin, not smaller brush just to go over the um, studs. the um, little leather strips here. I don't know what this thing is called. It must have a name but nobody has yet let me know and I keep forgetting to check. Although saying that I have checked once but for the life of me can I remember what it's called? <laughs> So when we come back, we'll carry on with something else. Okay, so that's that done. The next job is skin. Um, we're going to make sure that we get the skin sorted out. And uh, we just need to add a little bit more of the Screaming Skull in there. Um, I don't know we have other colours as well that won't make any difference to us I don't think um, let's pop a touch more in just on the safe side There you are. And into our brush. Oops. And just a few spots here and there. Oops. So we're just going to touch the areas that we've already done, but we're not covering them completely. We're just trying to pick out the very high points. Of those areas. Like here, for instance, we'll just pick out the tips of the toes. And that's all we're doing for that. So uh, join me in a moment after I've finished. And that's that for that stage. Um, as you can see, all done now. What we want to do next is to touch up a lip or not touch up but to do a little bit more on the cape and for that we're going to be going into Wasdaka Red and add a bit more of that onto the palette because we mixed in another colour with it earlier and I've only just decided this is the colour I'm going to be using now so <laughs> that means I'm going to have to 
Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm going to add, have to touch up a little bit more. So, get some of the paint on our palette. And again, this is just the highest areas now. We're not trying to do a full coverage. We're just going. Of a dry brush here, perfectly fine. Well, it's not a dry brush, it's just picking out the top edges. edges are covered with this we don't want to also we don't we also don't want to cover what we've already done so be wary of where you place this um, don't cover up the previous color but by the same yardstick you need to put some on so Uh, just be a little spurting with it, shall we say? Um, put it where it needs to be put, which is, as I say, where light is going to hit more. Um, you can also use it as well to bring out you could play some there to bring out the sword a little bit more. But that's where we're going with that. And join me when I've finished um, this stage. So we can go on to the next bit. Okay, so there we are. That's the cape done. Next, what we want to do is the crest along the top of the helmet and the beard so for the beard we're just going to use a little bit of Abaddon Black um, there's not much of the beard that can be seen so I'm not going hell for leather at it um, well, I'm just going to come down with a few strands Just like so. And hopefully it will show it being a beard. There we are. And the final part of this is the crest on the top of the helmet. For that we're going to be using another um where's it gone? I can't see it. I've lost a paint and I don't know where it is. Oh there we are. Evil Sun Scarlet. That's what we're going to be using for that. Um, I'm going to water the paint down a good bit for this because I don't I want it more watery than. Because it is a, a feather plume, that kind of thing. I want it going on. 
like a wash and the only wash I have is Carol Burr Crimson which is a little dark for what I want this hopefully will do the job once it's dried um, so we'll do that now get all these done now I want to point out as well that under no circumstances even though I finished painting the main mini this isn't finished as yet I was asked on another video from this series um, am I basing the figures yes I am um, they are going to be based I just haven't decided how yet which is why I'm leaving it for the time being um, so once I've decided I'll come back and I'll show you how I'm going to base one of them I'm not going to show you on, my, on them all I mean I think May I'm toying with the idea of just doing them the same as I'm doing with the Conan ones which is the little bit of the uh, is it a grill and earth the one that cracks Look, there we are in fact when I've got this out I'm just going to go over the top part of the V there's a little bit of a highlight seeing the V it's not a V and that will do that is all we're going to be doing for this mini I hope you enjoyed these videos um, as I say we just need to get the basing done to finish them off properly but as you can see I'm hoping my painting skills are improving with each one of these that I do um, this is the first time I've done a K plate this so I'm quite pleased with the effect so as I said that's it for this video I um, hope you've enjoyed it until next time as always take care God bless and bye for now